Yes. This is our question right here. It's asking determine the components of the support reaction at the fixed support A on the cantilever B. So this is the A, and we know this is uh, the six kilonewton, and this thing are pulling this object down. So the reaction is going to be opposite side. Let's say this is going this time. So this is going to be my uh, let's say A Y. A Y, and this is going to be acting away this is going to be ax so we have to find ax ay so in order to do that first i take the horizontal components it's going to be sigma sigma fx at statics the total uh, horizontal components is equal to zero so since we have this i take this direction positive and if you see we have uh, one two horizontal components one is ax x is acting opposite side to the x axis so I, I take this negative ax and this is going this direction and 4 kN it's making 30 degree so this is going to be plus 4 cos 30 cos 30 uh, which is equal to 0 so if I solve for ax it comes out to be 3.464 kilonewton 3.464 kilonewton and uh, we have found the ax right here now we have to find a y so in order to in order to do that i am going to take the vertical components so it's, let's say f y so in statics uh, f, uh, the total force is zero so this side is if this is positive a y is going to be positive and 6 kN acting downward so it's going to be negative and uh, we have one more force right here it's going to be 4 kN it's also acting downward and it's going to be 4 sin 30 minus 4 sin 30 so if I uh, all of them are equal to 0 if I solve for a y it's going to be 6 uh, 6 plus 4 sin 30 is going to be 2 because sin 30 is half right so it's going to be 2 8 kilonewton so we have solved for uh, solve for a y so we have one more thing to do we have to find the moment around here it's going to be so since these two are pulling this down the moment is going to act on counterclockwise opposite to this side so it's going to be right here this is going to be my ma <coughs> So let's uh, let's take the moment around here. Moment, the total moment. Let's take the total moment. So the total moment is going to be equal to zero in statics. <coughs> so I take the counterclockwise positive. If I take counterclockwise positive, uh, ma is going to be positive. And we have 6 kN acting downward so it's acting clockwise so it's going to be negative and it's 6 kN and the distance is 1.5 so I have to multiply this by 1.5 then <coughs> then we have another force right here 4 kN we have uh, two commands vertical command and horizontal command since this one has height we have to take both of them if it's a straight line only horizontal component components comes I mean vertical components comes but since we have this height we have to take both of them so since both of them are acting clockwise I put negative I take the horizontal one first no I take the vertical one first if I take the vertical one it's going to be 4 sine 30 4 sine 30 and this distance is 3 right 1.5 1.3 and we have 1.5 uh, 30 degree inclined so it's going to be uh, the horizontal distance is going to be 1.5 cos 30 <coughs> so it's going to be 3 plus 1.5 cos 30 and <coughs> we have one more thing um, the horizontal component is going to be 
4 cos 30 so we have to find the distance perpendicular to this uh, force right so it's going to be this one this vertical component of this distance is going to be 1.5 cos uh, sin 30 1.5 sin 30 that's my vertical component so that's the only height we have therefore it's going to be 1.5 sin 30 and if I calculate all the things MA comes out to be 20.2 kilonewton meter this we took its uh, counterclockwise so it's going to be counterclockwise direction uh, so we don't have to put the sign here because since this is positive we don't have to do anything mm -hmm. then we have one more things to do if you want to turn it into x si unit you have to divide it by thousand so you will get if you divide this one by thousand you will get zero point zero two zero two newton meter um, clock uh, counterclockwise right so this is my final answer and I hope you guys like this video see you next time